With 60% higher CPU performance, the 2023 ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED is a huge upgrade compared to last year's StudioBook. The Intel 13th Gen Core i9-3980HX we're using is basically a desktop CPU with 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores, running it up to 5.6 GHz, close to 6 GHz in a laptop. If you're in need of as much CPU horsepower as possible in a laptop, NVIDIA's latest 40 series GPUs, and everything else fully maxed out, memory, storage, I.O., in an all-metal chassis built like a tank, sit back and let me walk you through what I can only describe as our ultimate portable creator workstation. It starts at around $2,000 for the 4060 version, and for just a couple hundred extra bucks, you get the RTX 4070 configuration. This gets you a super solid magnesium aluminum chassis, a 3.2K 120Hz OLED display, stylus support not just on that OLED display, but even on the touchpad, and a built-in dial. Just like for the last few years, there's also a version of the StudioBook with NVIDIA's latest Pro-grade RTX laptop GPU, formerly known as Quadro. NVIDIA now calls gaming-focused GPUs GeForce RTX, but always, while the Pro-grade GPUs are now called NVIDIA RTX, very similar. Those GPUs are tailored to CAD and 3D rendering and GPGPU scientific research, which is basically AI training, deep learning, and so on. And the 2023 ProArt StudioBook 16 is one of the very few laptops that you can equip with one of these. And if you buy the configuration with that Pro GPU, guess what? The name of the laptop changes to ProArt StudioBook 16 Pro. That's right, you get an extra Pro to show just how Pro you are. That alone might be worth to consider getting that config instead of the regular RTX 4070 or 4060. You may have heard about our impressive 3D OLED display with objects popping out from the screen without wearing 3D glasses, just like a hologram. Our ASUS Spatial Vision 3D OLED display. It uses eye tracking, so you don't need to wear those clunky, flickering sunglasses that give you a piercing headache. We showed it off at CES and it was overwhelmingly well received. Both the ProArt StudioBook 16 and our VivoBook Pro 16X are getting this impressive new 3D OLED panel. We will have a dedicated video just about that panel alone since there's a lot of cool stuff to show and talk about. But that will be later in the year, close to when you can actually buy that 3D OLED version of the StudioBook 16 and the VivoBook Pro 16X. Now let's start at the beginning with some good old unboxing and then I'll walk you through all the cool specs and features of our 2023 StudioBook 16. The packaging is FSC certified and made with 100% recycled and recyclable paper without any plastic. So the fibers in this box are essentially going to live in an endless cycle of reincarnation into different packaging materials. Here's the main box that holds the laptop, nice and premium, all black. The 240 watt adapter can be found in this box over there. It's 76 millimeter wide, 165 millimeter long, and 25 millimeter thick, and weighs around 570 grams. Pretty compact and lightweight. To give you an idea, that's about as thick and heavy as three smartphones stacked on top of each other. Pretty good. Now look at this 16 inch, 2.8 kilo mobile workstation. It's entirely made of aluminum and magnesium aluminum alloy, dyed in a classy mineral black. You can see the signature ProArt StudioBook branding not just on the lid over here, but also on the bottom, which is a nice touch. While it looks similar, this is actually a brand new chassis, and to better highlight the changes we made, let me put our 2022 StudioBook next to the new 2023 StudioBook for some side-by-side -side comparisons. As you can see, the 2023 version is slightly deeper, which gives it extra space for cooling. But don't worry, this doesn't mean you sit further away from the screen. On the contrary, you sit closer to it. We pulled the entire display forward, so you sit closer, you get a bigger effective screen, better cooling, and better airflow. You can open it up with a single finger, and look at that display. At 3.2K, it's slightly lower in resolution than the 4K we had in 2022, but I can't see the difference, even when looking at it really close up. What I can see though is the refresh rate that has doubled to 120Hz now. I'll take this 120Hz over the 4K 60Hz panel hands down. This OLED display is arguably the most premium panel you could want on a creator laptop. 
you get 550 nits of peak brightness, the same 100% DCI-P3 cinema grade color gamut used by Hollywood, and it's Kalman verified. You get rich and vibrant colors, a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, an incredible industry leading 0.2 millisecond response time for the best possible motion clarity, making fast paced visuals sharp and blur free. And it's a touchscreen! Which is great, not just for intuitive input, but also stylus input, since it supports MPP 2.0 styluses with up to 4096 pressure levels. Okay, moving on to the keyboard area. So what stands out right away is that the touchpad is much bigger on the 2023 StudioBook 16. We basically merged the physical touch buttons into the touchpad itself and then stretch it out some more. Basically, you guys told us you want the touchpad to be as large as possible. And so that's what we did. We made it 28% larger. Not only that though, the size is very specific. It's a perfect 16 by 10 aspect ratio, just like the display. And there's a reason behind that, and this has to do with the stylus support. Just like the original StudioBook, which was the first laptop to do this, the StudioBook until today is the only laptop that supports MPP styluses on the touchpad. So it's like having a digital drawing board built into the laptop itself that's always right there at your fingertips when you want to sketch or take notes or tweak some content. And the reason it's 16 by 10 is because any other aspect ratio would mean lines you draw on the pad would be distorted on the display, warped or slightly bent, which you definitely don't want. Very nice attention to detail from our StudioBook team there. Now I know some of you guys will be sad to see the physical touch buttons go, I am a big fan of those too. But to make up for it, we added our haptic touchpad feature, the same as on our ZenBook Pro 16X which we launched last year. This gives you a nice click feel that you can even adjust and fine tune to your liking. It really feels like an actual click. I would have had no idea that it's not a normal clicky touchpad if our engineers had not told me. It sounds and feels exactly the same. The keyboard layout is exactly the same as on the 2022 model, and that's a good thing. It meets our ASUS ErgoSense standard. It's designed to be ergonomic and comfortable, and comes with as much of a standard desktop keyboard layout as possible. All the buttons are where they should be. The key spacing is exactly the same as on a desktop keyboard, 19.05mm from the center of one key to the next. Go and measure it yourself if you don't believe me. Why does that matter? Well, that's important so all the muscle memory you build for a decade or even more of what key is where on the keyboard and how far do you need to stretch your fingers to reach a certain key, it all just works and you don't have to relearn how to type on a completely different keyboard layout. It has a nice key travel, nice tactile feel to it, it's very quiet, well-balanced keys, and there's a number pad. And the keys aren't flat because your fingers aren't flat, are they? The keys have a nice ergonomic 0.2mm curvature to them, which doesn't sound like a lot, but makes typing more comfortable, especially during long sessions. And they make you type better? How does that work? Well, they help you hit all the keys center on, because you subconsciously feel if you hit a key on the edge thanks to that curvature. So it basically very gently nudges your fingers to the centers of the keys. The dial is right where it should be and hasn't changed, exactly in the same spot. And it's the same nice tactile dial, but it's now fully programmable. In our ProArt Creator Hub, you can create custom dial menus for specific apps that are selected once you launch the assigned app. And even better, now it not only works with all major Adobe apps, thanks to our partnership with Adobe, by the way, we bundle 90 days of Adobe CC all access with the StudioBook, the dial now works with pretty much any app, like DaVinci Resolve or Rap Browsers, because you can now assign keyboard shortcuts to the dial. So anything that can be done with a keyboard shortcut can be assigned to the dial. So you can use the dial to adjust the screen brightness, then the speaker volume on the laptop, then skip forward through a video in YouTube, for example, then adjust the volume of that video on YouTube, then scroll through the browser tabs to a different website. All of this just with the dial. From creativity to entertainment, productivity apps including Adobe, Spotify, YouTube, Microsoft Office, and many more, all our ASUS dials on any of our devices from mouse, monitor, laptop can now be used pretty much for anything. 
Our Pro Art Creator Hub is also getting a facelift, fresh new UI and new features. Together with Pantone, we created a new color management widget. You can now use this green color picker to identify the color of any pixel on a video or an image, and then create a custom digital color palette with many different colors. It tells you everything about those colors you selected, the RGB value, and even the Pantone code. It's basically like a digital color swatch, a digital Pantone swatch. You can also color calibrate your panel, and I'm sure you guys will love this feature. You can now switch instantly between preloaded screen color profiles, sRGB, DCI-P3, and the white point adjusted DCI-P3. So you can adjust the panel's power gamma to different types of creative work with ASUS Blended. Choose sRGB for creating web content or anything you want to print, or DCI-P3 for cinema content and videos. And there's something else that's new that you can't see. The 2023 StudioBook 16 now comes with our ASUS Antimicrobial Guard on the palm rest, keyboard, and the touchpad. It's a non-toxic, silver ion-based coating that, well, isn't toxic to humans or pets and so on, but it is toxic to bacteria and microbes, slowly breaking down their cell walls. And we have this certified by independent medical labs, so it's not just some snake oil we're selling here. It really does inhibit the growth of bacteria and keeps your laptop hygienic. We got more vents in the back, and you can see we moved some of the I.O. to the back as well. The I.O. overall hasn't changed, we just moved it around and some of the ports are in a different spot now. As a result, we're able to improve airflow and have better port spacing. In the rear, we have a 2.5G LAN port, perfect for sharing massive project files over the network or accessing a NAS, a DC inject for the 240 watt adapter, and an HDMI 2.1 port. And yes, a real, actual 2.1 port. Not one of those 2.0 ports that has been rebranded as 2.1, but they can still only really do 4K60. The Studiobook 16's HDMI port supports 4K 120Hz and 8K 60Hz. On the left, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, 5 gigabits per second, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, and a full-size SD Express 7.0 card slot. That's the latest version of the SD card spec, which reaches close to 1 gigabit per second. That's three times faster than UHS-2 cards, which is what most people are using right now. Moving on to the right, we have a Kensington lock, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 for 10 gigabits per second, and two Type-C ports. Now, both of these Type-C ports are fully maxed out. Thunderbolt 4, full 40 gigabits per second, and both support 100 watt PD charging. Also, both come with a DisplayPort video signal for external monitors, so you can charge the 2023 StudioBook 16 with that bundled 240 watt adapter in the back, or if you're on the go and you don't need the full performance, you can power and charge it with any Type-C PD adapter, let's say from your smartphone. And you can connect up to 4K 120Hz or 8K 60Hz monitors and TVs either to the HDMI 2.1 port or any of the two Type-C ports. Wi-Fi-wise, you're getting the fastest and most reliable Wi-Fi solution on the market with Intel's Wi-Fi 6E adapter. So you can upload and download at high speeds and have video calls with a reliable connection wherever you are. There's another thing that we improved that you can't see. We significantly improved our quality control lab, both in size, machinery, and manpower to invest into making our laptops even more durable. All 2023 ASUS laptops are now tested in accordance with the world's strictest US military standard 810H. Compared to other brands, we hold ourselves to a higher standard, bringing you top tier reliability and durability. We now run all our laptops through 26 tests, consisting of extreme temperatures, humidity, and drop tests. So just like with a good pair of jeans, buy better and use longer. While it's unlikely your laptop gets caught in a blizzard or is heated up in an oven, any improvement does make it an overall sturdier product, and it will be easily able to make it through your day-to-day -day life. It will last longer, and as a result, make it a more sustainable product. Thanks to no less than four microphones, two facing the front and two facing the back of the display, and our ASUS AI noise cancelling technology, you are heard loud and clear in any scenario, while background noise is being filtered out. You can even select different modes. The single presenter mode filters out all ambient noises, making your voice more clear and crisp. 
And for conference calls, you can switch to multi-presenter mode, which normalizes all separate individual voices. So when you're sharing your laptop with others and you have a con call together, the voice of somebody that sits a little bit off to the side sounds just as loud as you sitting in front of the laptop. The webcam is 1080p full HD and uses our 3DNR technology to remove noise, improve colors and contrast. You get a couple of neat webcam effects in my ASUS as well that take your video calling experience to the next level. And with a keyboard shortcut, you can instantly toggle the webcam on or off. Thanks to our ASUS AI Sense camera adaptive dimming feature, every time you look away from the screen, the 2023 StudioBook 16 dims its display to save battery. And as soon as you look back, it pops back to high brightness. And don't worry, if it bothers you and you find it a little distracting, you don't care about the battery life boost it gets you, you can simply switch it off. It took me some getting used to, but it was pretty snappy for me and didn't actually bother me that much. And every bit of extra battery life is always nice to have, so I used it. Speakers! Where are the speakers? There they are. To match the unparalleled visual experience, the speaker system on the 2023 Porsche Studiobook 16 is smart and boosted and Harman Kardon certified. It is loud and clear and thanks to Dolby Atmos you get a nice virtual surround effect, which is even more impressive when you're using headphones. Now my favorite part, let's pop the hood. Over here we have a massive 90 watt hour battery and here we have that Core i9-3980HX. Like I said, it's basically a desktop CPU with the full eight performance cores, while regular laptop CPUs usually just have six. And then there are the 16 efficiency cores that add quite some extra horsepower for any heavy multi-threaded app or multitasking. The CPU can turbo up to 5.6 gigahertz, and it really blows my mind that we're getting close to six gigahertz even on laptops now. We run this chip at 110 watt and heavy CPU loads, which is a nice 10% boost compared to last year's model. And the GPU over here now runs with a TGP of up to 130 watt. That's 105 plus 25 dynamic boost. And that's a nice 10 watt boost compared to last year's model as well. This one is an RTX 4070, but you can also get the 2023 StudioBook 16 with an RTX 4060 or that NVIDIA RTX ProGrade GPU. This ProGrade GPU, formerly known as Quadro, is specifically tuned for professional creators and all major research and 3D modeling and rendering tools. Besides a nice performance jump, you get DLSS free, AV1 support, and a couple more Ada Lovelace features, along with access to NVIDIA Studio drivers. And surprise, the 2023 model now comes with a max switch for a nice performance boost in some 3D games and apps. Thanks to Thermal Grizzly's Liquid Metal, we can push the CPU to a higher TDP and turbo for longer. And not just that, it lasts several times longer than regular thermal paste. So even after several years, you get the same temperatures as on day one. We improved the airflow throughout the entire chassis. So you guys saw the new hinge mechanism and position. We also added a lot of extra air intake through the keyboard. This not only helps to boost performance, it actually lowers the surface temperature by a few degrees compared to last year's model. So much higher performance, higher TDP, higher TGP, yet lower temperatures. And it's really quiet. In standard mode, it's below 40 decibels. Over here, we have our two memory slots. By default, they come equipped with two 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabytes of DDR5 5200. But as you can see, it's actually really easy to operate them. And here are our two M.2 SSD slots. Both full-size 2280, both Peace Express Gen 4 with four lanes for full speed, and by default they come equipped with up to a four terabyte SSD, and you can run them in RAID 0. Heck yeah! And that's it! Let me sum it all up. The 2023 ProArt StudioBook 16 is arguably the best content creator laptop you can find on the market. It comes with a massive performance boost compared to last year's model, runs both the CPU and the GPU at higher wattages, while actually running slightly cooler at the same noise levels. It comes with the most premium display you can find. There is no display on the market with better contrast, color accuracy, and pixel response time than this, hands down. It has all its I.O. fully maxed out, comes with a dial, stylus support on the screen and the touchpad, and all packed in a rock-solid premium magnesium aluminum chassis at only 2.4 kilos. Here are the three configurations you can get. The Core i9-3980HX with an RTX 4060 and that beautiful 3.2K 120Hz OLED touchscreen display starting at around $2,000. And from there, if you have a big enough wallet or you need more performance, 
for premium, a couple hundred bucks, you can then upgrade to either the RTX 4070 or that NVIDIA Pro-grade laptop GPU. And just a reminder, we will have a dedicated video about that hologram-like ASUS Spatial Vision 3D OLED panel in a couple of months to show you all the cool stuff you'll be able to do with it. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I left no questions unanswered in this overview of our 2023 ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED and ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED, the one with the ProGrade GPU. Let us know in the comments what you like the most or if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.